Jesus. I've forgotten already. He, they, yeah, Jesus. Boom! Goliath goes down. Personal best! Woo! It's like a test. I'm sorry. Hey guys, we're back for another episode of Caffeinated Pastors. Sandra's here again with the Good Samaritan. Let's check it out. There's a little bit of walking happening, and then there's robbers. There's three guys. Do you think she hid notes and on the ceiling? Is she oh, and there's uh, a Samaritan cheating there? I the think so. Guy. She should be investigating. And who was the guy that he hated? That he helped? Okay. Now we start. Yeah. We're good to go now. Look at that smile. Sandra, take five. The Good Samaritan. Yeah. Okay, the Good Samaritan. So um, there's this guy, he's walking along on this road, and then these robbers come and they beat him all up and they take all his stuff, and I think he's like kind of a little bit naked, but he's definitely beat up. And so then um, some other guys come and walk, and then the first guy comes and he walks along the road and he like sees him, and he kind of like thinks it's super weird, so he goes to the other side of the road, and then he passes on by and he doesn't help the guy at all. And he might have been a priest who should have like helped because he was like a Jewish guy who loved God and would want to help people, but he didn't. And then there's another guy, and I don't remember which one he was, but he came and he walked by too, and he did nothing as well to help. And then the third guy, who was the Samaritan, who had actually been a total enemy of the guy who got beat up um, for some reason, which was related to politics, but I don't really understand. That's the government. And then, um, and then he helps the guy, and he like wraps him up, and he bandages his wounds or something, and then he like carries him, I think, on a donkey maybe, and then he gets him to some house in this place, and he gives the money and says, "Take care of this guy." Um, and so he was the good Samaritan. He actually did great stuff. Amen. Sorry. Don't be sorry. You're not. It's good. You nailed it. Let's. Watch it again. For sure. Okay, the Good Samaritan. So um, there's this guy, he's walking along on this road, and then these robbers come and they beat him all up and they take all his stuff, and I think he's like kind of a little bit naked. It does say he's naked. Yep, totally naked. But he's definitely beat up. And so then... Um, some other guys come and walk, and then the first guy comes and he walks along the road and he like sees him and he kind of like thinks it's super weird, so he goes to the other side of the road and then he passes on by and he doesn't help the guy at all. And he might have been a priest who should have like helped because he was like a Jewish guy who loved God and would want to help people, but he didn't. The text references the guy as a priest who was supposed to help people understand and know God better. And instead, this priest just hops across to the other side of the road. Not cool. And then there's another guy, and I don't remember which one he was. He was actually a Levite, which was like a set-aside class of people all the way back from the Old Testament who were religious teachers, taught the law, and so knew his Bible and probably knew what was the right thing to do, still didn't do it, hopped across to the other side of the road. But he came, and he walked by too, and he did nothing as well to help, and... Then the third guy, who was the Samaritan, who had actually been a total enemy of the guy who got beat up um, for some reason, which was related to politics, but I don't really understand. That's the government. And then, um, and then he helps the guy, and he like wraps him up, and he bandages his wounds or something, and then he like carries him, I think, on a donkey, maybe. Yeah, a donkey, his own donkey. And then he gets him to some house in this place, and he gives them money, and actually gives him a lot of money, like two days wages, and makes another promise to the owner of the inn saying, and if you need more, just just do what this guy needs. I'll, I'm willing to pay it back. It says, take care of this guy. Um, and so he was the good Samaritan. He actually did great stuff. Amen. Sorry. Amen. And no need to apologize. We forgive you. Yeah, it was good. Amen. Sorry. I will try not to end all of mine with amen. <laughs> <laughs>